for me, art is absolutely critically important in terms of the regeneration of communities. It's a value in its own right, but it also has a huge positive impact, not just in kind of, um, kind of the social cultural regeneration, but even economic regeneration. I think good arts activities make an area the sort of place people want to visit, to spend money in, to live in, etc. So for me, arts needs to be one of the key drivers of regeneration. We have a, a small conference about culture and well-being and I was one of the speakers. My city and organization has done quite a lot of work with combining culture and well-being. So, for, for example, we have taken artists to work in elderly care centers where they have worked with old people and uh, conducted some work with them. And, and really, that has been proven useful also in, uh, as, a, as how the nurses regard it. So, in a way, the, the artists have brought the uh, customer to the core of the care, so that has been helpful to combine different specialities. I think the thing that stood out for me today is that almost without feeling, one or two people were demonstrating and there has been some research of the, you know, the positive effect of, of arts and culture on well-being, but actually what just struck me is people, all the stories people were telling actually demonstrated that over and over again. Everybody coming from a different perspective, people sometimes making different points, but the, the common thing right across this is that arts is good for you and that's the thing that struck out for me. Culture can be uh, uh, just uh, introducing books or classical music to, to school classes, so it doesn't have to be so big. You, you can, uh, for example, our libraries have organized uh, events where they are picking up books which might be useful for an 11-year-old boy, not just Harry Potter, but also some other, other options. So there are very many things what you can do just by using creativity. We have had significant cuts on arts and culture and one of the points actually that was made in the seminar was that some of those engaged in regeneration would rather see the regeneration budget cut rather than the arts budget. Arts is part of regeneration but it is also about engaging people, it's about empowering people, it's about people being, people feeling part of something. It's about social inclusion. Arts is a way of communicating with people that perhaps we don't, we don't normally do. Are there any differences at all between community-led art and mainstream art? Personally, I don't think so. I, I think there's just art, and I think the more art we can get into local communities, the better. Um, I think there's probably, I was going to say there's probably only good art and bad art. I'm not even sure if that's actually true. There, you know. Um, I'm sure it probably is, but sometimes you know the, the criteria we use to judge that. But for me, all communities, and particularly the most disadvantaged communities, deserve the best art they can get. Should art projects be led by the people within the community, the artists who are delivering the workshop, or those bodies that are funding the actual art event? So, who should have you know control? I think these all these groups should work together, but it's very essential that those people who uh, who are the target group, that people themselves are part of the planning process. So, and I, I think in that sense, in that we have very well succeeded in Finland, that we have not just planned for people, but with people. Do you think your community in East Belfast gets its fair share of funding? Probably nobody thinks they get their fair share of funding. And, and to be fair, uh, for many years, we probably weren't really geared up to, you know, to look for funding. So we certainly have found that over the last few years, uh, people have responded because we have now got a programme to do. But we can always use more resources, but actually resources Resources aren't the end of the whole thing. You know, I, I think you've got um, the, the voluntary, volunteer commitment we've had has been amazing uh, and you can't do anything without the volunteers. So we'd like more funding, but actually we're quite glad to have got what we've got to date. How would you like to see the arts develop in your community? I'd like it to become an established part of the community. I'd like East Belfast to be, to be seen as a place where artists and arts are welcomed or expected as a normal part of life. And I'd just like to see um, you know, arts as a, as a totally integrated, ingrained part of, of, of what East Belfast looks like, feels like and how people experience it. The benefits of participating in, in any of these projects is the development of new friendships, the development of new skills, the, that sort of development of confidence. There are a range of skills that people actually gain, but it's about, the, it's about joining in, it's about feeling part of something and it's about then making new friendships and, and feeling, feeling much happier and much healthier.
we all might have difficulties in life and art, art and culture can, is, is good for all of us. Young people, children, middle-aged, elderly people, immigrants, different uh, ethnic backgrounds. So, so it's very important that the cities put a lot of emphasis into to offering culture to those people who would otherwise don't have access to it. I think art always challenges people, you know, you know whether it's a piece of theatre or a lyrics of a song or a film. Um, it works whenever it challenges people emotionally and, and uh, you know, intellectually makes them think a little bit differently. And I think part of our, part of our heritage in, in Northern Ireland is we, we don't think things through anywhere near enough. We just react to the kind of emotions that we, we've felt around us. And I think if, if art can challenge those, shake those up, make us think differently, then I think that's going to benefit. Mm -hmm.